Hey, what's that? What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So, tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Then what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts. But something tells me I'm not going to find a chest full of gold at any of these places. I think I'm close to another crime scene. Hmm, mystery person's calling card. Another police report. And another audio recorder. This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Hmm. Typical day. I guess it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see who the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon, then dinner, and I... Sorry, um... Can you go back for a moment? What does... do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Got quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. It's pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say? You help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, but I never really understood what she meant. Okay, you know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to this shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! I should be close. Whoever's setting up these scenes really likes the color yellow.
Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> you're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Huh. Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. I am ready. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask. How exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right. Good talk. Why is she always hanging up on me? Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. We probably just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Ugh. Logic takes the fun out of everything. Someone fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident. But was it? On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring the, um... Yeah. Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. But my boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Folks, we need to talk more about this live streaming egomaniac screwball. It's bad enough her show features and glorifies that narcissistic webhead Spider-Man, but her... <laughs> Shows, if you can even call them that, are putting hard-working New Yorkers in harm's way just so she can gain followers. Whatever that means. Can't you see her ridiculous stunts are nothing more than a desperate ploy for attention? Come on, folks. You're smarter than that. By watching her shows, you're literally hurting yourselves. So, you ask, what should we do instead, Jonah? Here's an idea. Tune into my show instead. The only thing I'll hurt you with is the truth! Damn! That's a good line. Write that one down, Jared. Let's use it in the next promo.
Police ruled this a suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This is everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Well, we'd like you to record the next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. That gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these, and yet I can't stop. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. Getting closer. I hope whoever's leaving these has a good reason. Just look now. Reports are flying in about an incident in Midtown involving. You guessed it, Spider-Man. It's the same old story, same old menace. But here's a terrifying little wrinkle. My sources tell me that the Magia crime boss Hammerhead is now gone, and I quote, full cyborg. First we have robotic octopuses, and now a mecked up Magia? Ugh, whatever happened to the good old days when criminals would just put on a dime store mask, stick their finger in their pocket, and try to rob a bank? All right! Spider-Man happened! I think there was a hit and run here recently. The victim was set to testify against one of Hammerhead's men. But of course, police never found a suspect. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. What's up, dude? Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Hey, man. Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But? I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. <laughs> 